make sure you focus in. We're we're live? Hey, hey, First Christian. Uh, I am so liking these lights. Um, We, uh, just so you know, we've had the the three center ones uh, towards the front changed out so that they're brighter. When you're looking at this, you're going to go, wow, that is so much nicer, and it is. Uh, they're coming back to do uh, the one that's uh, on the back wall so that uh, at the communion table and everything, it is super bright as well, which is awesome. Uh, and then also, uh, the first two on the stage are going to be brighter as well. We're going to leave the back two as the way that they are so that the projection and everything will be able to shine onto a darker background. Uh, that way, we're able to see it. Uh, and uh, uh, so that would be fantastic. All right. Uh, so I'm excited about the lights. I mean, it's little things like this. Uh, the, the little things, the little changes, the little uh, adaptations that we make uh, to help bring the experience better uh, for us to worship together. So it's, it's not dingy, it's not dark, it's bright, it's, it's, it's inviting, and all these things for the church, which is awesome. So I'm excited. And I'm hoping that you're excited about the, the, the little tweaks and the things that we're doing as well talking about little things or talking about the big tweaks we've got some big tweaks we got some big things that are coming uh chet k has uh chet uh greg and uh has been coming and he's been working on uh getting handicap accessible access throughout the entire building uh we're also doing handicap bathrooms remodeling we're going to be doing all sorts of stuff and it's going to be amazing can't wait for things to start happening like that and i hope that you are too a uh, couple of things. Uh, when you're using uh, pay, uh, push pay, excuse me, when you're using push pay to, 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 to send in your offerings and your tithes and everything, if you could do us a little favor, uh, we're doing fantastic with it. Uh, but if you notice, like when you're going around town or you're buying things and there, you'll see signs that say, hey, there's a convenience fee of 3% or whatever, if you could give just a a couple of dollars more whenever you do it that'll help take care of some of the fees that we have that go on with this so your you have your ach fee so if you pay with a out of your checking account there's a fee with that if you pay with a credit card or a debit card there's a fee with that and that all comes in believe me the money that we're bringing in through push pay is so much higher than any kind of the fees that we have but it's just more money coming out of ours uh to go towards that so if you could please uh, just give a couple of dollars more whenever you do. And if you don't, that's fine. We're, we're, we're going to be just fine without it. But if you want to help just a little bit, that would be amazing. Oh, uh, last Sunday night, so just a couple of nights ago, we finished up the book of Revelation. So we are going on to the study of eschatology. Eschatology, study of the second coming. And that is a college class that I took. Um, and... Um, I got the updated notes and everything from my professor, uh, Dr. Johnny Presley, uh, my favorite professor I had in college, and he gave it to me, so we're going to be starting that this Sunday night, so resuming all Sunday night Bible studies, except for the fifth Sunday, which then we will be off, all right, so that's it. Uh, This, also after eschatology class on Sunday night, we are having food, we're having soup, so come to eschatology, stay for the soup. Also, uh, there is a bridal tea honoring Anna Campbell, uh, and uh, uh, so that's going to be on January 24th uh, between 12 and 2, uh, right after the church, and um, the, stick around for that. Lastly, uh, hopefully, it's about midway through the week, hopefully you're about halfway through Leviticus. I know it's a tough book. I know it's tough. And I was mentioning someone just the other day, when you look at Exodus and then it starts going in and it starts talking about, you know, all the things that they're supposed to wear and how they're supposed to make things and all that stuff. And I mentioned this on Sunday, it's about structure. In the Old Testament, it's about structure. Here is exactly what God wants. Now, now that we've gone through and looked at exactly how God wants things, in the book of Leviticus, um, uh, uh, now that we're in this, then uh, we're looking at, okay, now that we've gotten that structure, what else do we have to honor? What else are we going to honor God with? And that is, how do we live our lives? 
How do we, how do we honor him with everything that we have? How do we, uh, what do we do when we do something that's against God's will? What does he want from us? How do we make reprimands? How do we figure out how to live this way? That's what Leviticus is all about. It's about taking that relationship and going, okay, structure, this is how we are to worship God. This is what we do on the other side. How do we live our lives on a daily basis to please him? And when things mess up or things happen, how do we get back into, into his good graces? That's Leviticus. We'll talk about that on Sunday. Man, I hope you guys are having a great day. It's a little rainy outside. It's a little chilly. Uh, but who knows? We may even have chili Sunday night at the, after a fellowship meal. That was funny. All right. Love you guys. We'll talk to you later. All right. Bye.